Welcome to our Pretty Richie from Fantasy Good Sports once again. Come to you with a, a pretty tip on uh, Elijah Moore from the uh, Jets. He requested a trade from the organization because he is frustrated that he's not being utilized enough. And that offense, uh, he feels as though that he probably is just as good as Garrett Wilson, if not better. He was drafted last year in uh, the two twenty. 2021 uh, draft class at number 34 overall in the NFL uh, draft. Uh, he had been doing good. Last year, he broke out in weeks 8 through, uh, I believe, 13, uh, posting uh, 16.85 fantasy points, 28.90 fantasy points, 15.90 uh, fantasy points against Buffalo. Miami, he scored a 42 Point thirty five PPR fantasy points from a fantasy per, fantasy perspective, eleven points against Houston, another twenty two point thirty five against Philadelphia Eagles. So he is a talent in his own right. Uh, but you know we know what's going on in New York right now. This is probably the best start that they've had <laughs> since uh, probably uh, Joe Namath at four and two right now. You know, and they're winning the recipe right now in New York is running the ball with rookie Brees Hall and Michael Carter. Uh, Zach Wilson, the quarterback, is still slow to develop. He's not developing as fast as Elijah Moore may like, and he's getting more looks from uh, Garrett Wilson. Uh, it's From a receiving standpoint, it's a mess in, in New York from a fantasy perspective, but the team is winning, okay? The team is running from running the ball good, as I just stated, from Brees Hall, who's a, who's a monster. The offensive line has opened up nice running lanes for him. And the defense, the Jets defense, is killing it right now. It, uh, very very surprised. I didn't see this one coming. Not, not this early in the season anyway. I would have thought they would have uh, took time to develop, you know, in jail a little bit more. But what what are, you go, what are we going to do with Elijah Moore from the Jets? In redraft league, if you got enough room on your roster, he's definitely a hold because he has the talent. But he has to have other things to work in his favor for him to come for the for it to come to fruition from a fantasy standpoint. Realistically, it is there. I mean, the team, the organization is four and two right now. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. They're gonna continue to run the ball, lean on. Uh, that offensive line and protecting the, uh, the quarterback, the young quarterback Zach Wilson, until he develops and develops and has more confidence and develops a better rapport with the receiving core as a whole. As far as uh, dynasty league, Elijah Moore is definitely a buy low. Yes, I said it. Buy Elijah Moore low because once they figure it out, whether it be a season and a half, two seasons, this next off season, once they figure it out in New York, Elijah Moore will be a, a strong wide receiver too moving forward. And they just, just have to take time, continue to be patient, especially in the dynasty uh, football formats. You gotta be patient. You can't give up on these guys with all this great talent. Their situation will dictate when they boom. Unfortunately for Elijah Moore. They say they're not going to, the organization says that they're not going to trade him before the deadline this season. It remains to be seen. I think if they're smart, they can talk some sense into this guy. He's already out for week seven because he's so frustrated. They don't want to bring that negative energy into the locker room or to the field or to the playing field. Okay, so just hold on to Elijah Moore if you can. If you have to drop him for a player that's going to play week seven and, and be at least a, a, a strong flex play for you, then go ahead and make that move as well. Okay, this again, this is a uh, pretty Richie from Fantasy Good Sports on a uh, pretty tip, real quick tip. All right, be easy, y'all. Good luck.